Hey everyone, welcome to WitCode, where in this video we're going to learn what function declarations and function expressions are and how they are similar and different with hoisting, blocks, scope, global space pollution, and more. So to begin, let's start with function declarations. So function declarations start with the word function, similar to how variable declarations start with either var, let, or const. So this here is a function declaration. Function declarations are also functions with a name. Here, the name of the function is my declaration. And now, what is a function expression? Well, a function expression is a function that is part of an assignment expression. For example, capturing the function in a variable. So this here is also a named function expression. And it is a named function expression as the function here is given a name, which is my expression function. And named function expressions are only available inside the scope of the newly defined functions. And so as named function expressions are only available inside the scope of the newly defined function, this is why we get function printed here and undefined printed here, which we can see here. Because when we're logging my expression function, it is outside of the scope. And so the main purpose of named function expressions is for debugging as they allow us to check the stack trace for the name of the function. However, anonymous functions, or functions that have no name, are often used in function expressions. However, function expressions are most often created with the ES6 arrow syntax. So now that we know what both a function declaration and a function expression are, let's talk about some of their similarities and differences, starting off with hoisting. So hoisting is when the JavaScript interpreter, prior to executing code, moves the declaration of functions, variables, and classes to the top of their scope. In other words, hoisting determines when functions, variables, and classes are accessible after being declared. Function declarations are hoisted, meaning we can call them before they are declared. So for example, we have my declaration here, and if we call above it my declaration, we won't get an error. We can see this is a function declaration that was logged first, which came from here. However, function expressions are not hoisted, meaning that they can only be called after they have been declared. So if we call the my expression function here, we will get an error. As you can see, uncaught reference cannot access my expression before initialization. And now let's talk about blocks and function declarations. So function declarations are not statements, meaning using them inside a block should be considered a syntax error. And this is because historically, different browsers would parse these functions differently, leading to inconsistencies. So this is because these blocks here, so in between these if and else, can only contain statements. However, we can use function expressions in blocks. However, the introduction of strict mode in ES5 resolve this issue by scoping function declarations to their block. To use strict mode, place use strict before any other statement. So up here, we can be in strict mode before any statement we type use strict. 
And now we can see a reference error here for bad is not defined when we call it here. And for another example above here, So here we get a reference error saying that bad syntax is not defined because we entered because we placed the program in strict mode by using this use strict key. And this is because function declarations are now scoped to their block. So this block that we created here between these two here, we could call bad syntax within here. So this is not allowed in strict mode. We, we just can't call it here outside of its block, but we can call it within. And now let's talk about function declarations and global space pollution. So when it comes to scope, function declarations are always local to the current scope. So here, function, my declaration here is global scope. And if we create a function here, This is considered local scope, whereas this is global scope. And we can see the global scope if we print the window object. So window dot my declaration, we can see the function has been attached to the window object as it is in the global scope. And in JavaScript, this is the window object. However, when it comes to global space pollution, we can use a function expression with the keywords let or const to avoid polluting the global namespace. And so polluting the global namespace is bad because we only want to have code accessible when and where we need it. And this is because the keywords let and const do not add things to the global scope. So if we look at the window object here now and we try to do no pollution, we will not get it. However, if we use a function expression with the var keyword in the outermost scope, it will still pollute the global namespace. So here we can see this pollutes the global namespace by if we access window and then dot expression pollution, we can see that it's added on because we use the var keyword. But if we use let and const with a function expression, then it does not pollute the global namespace. But so this was my video on function declarations versus function expressions. You can see each of them could have a good use case. But um, at the end of the day, if you like this video, I want to thank you for liking and subscribing, and I hope to see you in the next one. Have a good one.